for? Oh, heart so cold. They think I sold my soul. <laughs> like I would ever sell, sell my, my soul. soul. No, they wanna know how I'm so cold, cold with it. it. My niggas see me and say, bro, did it. Bro, did it. My diamonds dance, I'm got them so living. So living. If you were hit on my own. I might have fucked a couple big bitches, but I never fuck with jealousy. Niggas talking like an op, keep the same energy. Homie said we crew still, but Brody just a friend of me. I don't fuck with you still, you know I got a memory. I never changed like Hov said, you can't relate If you never slept on a cold bed You wasn't plucking roaches off a of mold bread With holes in your pro cats I was only a team but felt more like a old hag Okay, Ray J. <laughs> and I'm not trying to laugh. He was making a point about people laughing at things that's not funny. Ray J, uh, I think it was his show. He mm -hmm. has a show. A night, he has a new show. Yeah. New show. Yeah. Where he's talking about. Um, Asses? People stealing the moon, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> people stealing moons off people. <laughs> <laughs> and making fun of um, baby oil. Yeah, he, no, he's not making fun of it. He's just saying no, it's he's not, not making fun of it. He's, he's saying people's making fun of it. Yeah, I mean, uh, in, in reality, it's it's not funny, right? The things that we're seeing, mm -hmm. uh, people putting up uh, 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 clippings of, uh, of uh, stories like... Uh, Certain R and B celebrities that we love, mm -hmm. you know, their ass bleeding and reports that they were, you know, what I'm saying like this, this, this shit is getting the whole the egg story, yeah, and, that's, and, that's, that's, you know, Suge right. Knight and it. Bro, what is what is going on? Like, what what what's happening, son? What's happening? I feel like we're just in a space where anyone can say anything and it's going to fly. And they know that. That's why they say it. And we're not even talking about the real issues like the Nazis having a a, a, a secret base in Antarctica or a, us all living in a simulation. If we really want to get into conspiracies, <laughs> we could get into some real conspiracy shit. But it just seems like anything that anyone says about Diddy right now is flying. Luckily, one thing was thwarted. When I say luckily, I mean... Misinformation should not be spread. It should not be spread. Um, there was a book that they claimed was Kim, Kim Porter's memoirs mm. and was being released. And on Ab Amazon, it was what? The, it was, the there was a book on Amazon that was number written. One. Right. It went to It went to number top, yeah. one in pre-sales. Mm -hmm. Right. Number one in pre-sales. And they figured out that... The writer, not only did he, <laughs> yo, yo Jamal, my man, Jamal, 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 T. Jamal Millwood. T. Millwood, <laughs> Jamal T. Millwood was actually a white boy named what was his name? Something Todd. Todd. Right? Chris Todd or can we, something can, can like that. Can we pull that? it up? Let let's pull let's, it let's up. be let's, accurate on let's Todd. Let's be accurate. Todd, you tried it, nigga. <laughs> you <laughs> tried it. Especially using the you name like Jamal. 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 Let me think about a black name, Jamal. 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 He said the T stood for Tupac. Oh, my God. You got to say you tried it in white people. You got another thing coming, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you was going to get away with that. You thought you was going to get away with that. Thought so you was going to pull the old scoop of doop. Let's get his full name, the old Todd. Rope -dope. Old rope -dope. So the writer's name is Todd Christopher Guzzi. Guzzy? Guzzy. 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 That's crazy. Guzzy. <laughs> Listen here, Guzzy. Guzzy. <laughs> or Goozy? Goosey, Guzzy, Guzzy. It doesn't get better. It still sounds <laughs> He's gonna say and say Goosey. Creepy. Maybe. He's gonna say Goosey. Gully, who right. knows? Right, so he wrote the book, Kim's Last Words. Um, a Journey for... Ju I'm sorry, Kim's Lost Words. Kim's Lost Words. A Journey for Justice from mm. the Other Side. Right. Mm. And then got on an interview 
and made a very disrespectful comment when he said, they asked him a question. I don't know if you guys saw this interview. And he was like, I don't know, get your Ouija board out and ask her. It was just wild disrespectful. Wow. Yo, get can you. y'all can y'all oh, please man. remember that this woman was somebody's mother? mother. Right. A lot of people's crazy. mother. She yeah. has children that are really out here and they gotta read this shit. Like, can y'all God. have some fucking respect, some dignity, some class? Where's the class? What the fuck? This is like open hand smack in the mouth style shit. Oh. Like somebody's mother? Yeah. That's well, I mean, I think mother. it was it was so flagrant that, you know, we haven't really heard her kids speak about it. And mm. her son Quincy put out mm-hmm. a statement. Mm-hmm. And he put out a statement and said that it's she that their mother that this was a fabrication and their mother I'm 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 paraphrasing. Um, that their mother didn't write a book. Because his claim was that Someone gave him a hard drive. This is what Jamal Tupac said. Jamal <laughs> Tupac said. This is what Jamal that Tupac said. Somebody gave him a hard drive. He wouldn't name the sources or who those people uh, were. A music, music executive, correct? Music executives is uh, what he slipped said. Slipped him a hard drive, said, yo, this is, this is Kim's right. book. And, you know, he switched his name to Jamal Tupac, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. And he was trying to get this book out. Uh, fortunately, it's been discredited. And taken off of Amazon. And it was taken off of Amazon. <coughs> Bro, good, good trying point. to cash Word. out. That's good. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's some, that's twisted. My thing that's is that dirty. why 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 wouldn't they just sue him if it's untrue? Well, at this point, he probably ain't got no money. Yeah, he ain't probably got no bread. Ah, uh, I, w- I wonder if it has something to do with propaganda being legal in this in this country. I mean, I don't know. I think that if somebody put out statements about my mother, that's untrue. That there should be some type of we, we watch presidential candidates do that Cease shit and for well, months straight. The 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 game the game ain't over yet. Right. Just because they're not doing it now doesn't mean they won't do right. it. Right, and I mean Amazon did take the book off. Right, so so it's, no so it's not like people got now. to read it. I'm not yeah. holding Amazon account. They took the book off that Kyrie posted about the Hebrews. I'm not going by the, Amazon. The, 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 the movie, taking, but I'm know. saying that they would they would need to. Sue and show that he profited off of it. I mm-hmm. think, yeah. right? Do you right. think? Do you I'm, think he profited? Well, I don't. Before he, they, it, they even if took it's it a off. bestseller. No, 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 no. Well, no. If they, it went to number up, one, the, the pre-sales. That was pre-sales. pre-sales. You have pre-sales. to return so, that so back. They can return all yeah. money. Yeah. Yeah. He, he never actually had the bread in his hand, and, and it all just went back. Oh, so they caught him before they even got the books out. I think Amazon probably sold. Yeah, there were allegations in the book that you know. The, there was domestic violence between her and Puff. There were also things said. Even I'll be sure made comments, mm-hmm. right? Because mm-hmm. he also said that the stuff in the book wasn't true, and we won't say what they said. Yeah, he told me he um, he signed the NDA. I mean, I at the end him. of the day, it's not his story to tell, man. Right. The publishing but, house should sue. Turn it over false, like completely. Yeah. Completely made up book. If there is a publishing house, because you can publish your own, your no, own book on Amazon. That's yeah. true. Amazon, so if right, Amazon right, right, had right, to right, print right. at least one copy, they should get their money back from that guy. Mm-hmm. And then some. You know? And then some. I'm That's still credibility. Stuck on Jamal. Like, Jamal I just... Tupac. Yeah, he's Jamal. Tupac. Let me just That's think of a wild. black name. Just J- a black like... name. Jamal. <laughs> Jamal. Yeah. Todd Guzzi. Who <laughs> say? Who <laughs> say? Todd Guzzi, what is wrong with you, bro? Yeah, like, come crazy. on. It's this crazy. cash grab is black sense. Draymond Green. This cash grab is getting <laughs> crazy. Recently, someone else was exposed for uh, falsifying this story and trying to get their boyfriend to co- corroborate with him. Who? Who? What? What's this chick's name? What's her Talia name? Talia Gra- Graves. Graves. Talia Graves. Uh, Talia Graves. They caught a text message. From her to her boyfriend saying, corroborate my story against Diddy and you, you know, get a pay we on. can make seven figures or whatever. And this is That's TMZ. Foul. Wait, wait, just be let's be clear. This is TMZ that reported there were these text messages, yeah. right? Because right. I didn't read the text messages, That's but foul. I know I mean, um right. her I know her attorney filed a lawsuit on her behalf, right? But that's a tactic also, right? When when people are sued and you come out and you, you know, no, that's not true. Look, extortion. She was trying to bribe, but she was trying. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of cases that have come out where the other party makes that claim. So it's like, you know, it's their word 
against, I, I don't know who, who furnished the, the stuff to TMZ. Mm -hmm. What they do is that they make the real victims not credible. That's the problem. That's the problem. That is the problem. That's the problem. And, and that's a huge problem. And there's no accountability when people come out and lie like that. Well, the, you, can, you can be, make though. them pay for it, but you it costs money. Like, if you chased everybody who told a lie on you... you no, I mean, they should be day. criminally charged. Yes, there, I, do believe, I do believe that. If you make an accusation on someone, if you, if you uh, uh, put out any type of damaging information, right, and we're going to get to the Jaguar right there. Mm. Whatever, whatever consequences that person would have faced... You should have to face. In that libel, libel is written, and that's more civil. Okay. That's more civil. There's need to be so, a criminal so aspect slander. to it. I don't think you can do that because you, you get you get into First Amendment. No, I don't territory. think that I, you can't do it. But there should be a criminal you get aspect. It, to you it. get into First Amendment territory. People are allowed to say whatever. It no, is no, 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 no. That's untrue. You are not allowed no. to run into a movie theater. And scream fire and because there's no of, fire. Because of potential. Right, and you no. can't get on a, on a plane and scream bomb oh, and there's yeah. no bomb. You right. can, you just have to pay for what happens after. And that's... But you can't... The, the problem is criminalizing free speech is when you start getting... So it, speech, is, speech is not free. It's when those mu waters start getting money is what I'm saying. I, I say, okay, if you're accusing someone of a crime, because, mm -hmm. you know, people get convicted by... Public perception nowadays. Sure. If you accuse someone of a crime publicly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you should have to do whatever fucking time that person would have to do if they were convicted of it. I can't be mad at that. I I'm all for that. that. False, false. You can charges. sue them civilly for that. Yeah, right? These yeah, motherfuckers is broke, man. Yeah, they broke. <laughs> they rich <laughs> niggas <laughs> doing this shit. <laughs> it's not. It's broke niggas just <laughs> sitting around. What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? I, I, oh yeah, I got well, it we, now. We're like, in the middle. We're in the middle of a media circus right uh, now. We're yeah. in the middle of a media circus. Like we all chase. Everybody's buying their popcorn. And, and everybody's trying to drag show. people it's down. It's, like it's a joke. Right. It's 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 like you can go viral. And actually make money off of saying crazy things. I we see Jamal T. Millwood, right? He was trying to make money, but even building yourself up as a brand, being a spokesperson, going on Piers Morgan, like you get paid the more famous that you get. Now you're getting income from basically Tearing talking people down. and yeah. yeah. Just, and, and you so know it's what? a business. This is it's a business thing, but but like there's no fact checking. I think I think a lot of it falls on the media and people in media who are not qualified to be in media. They're just putting things out. They're regurgitating things. But it's not just the stuff that we see on YouTube. It goes from being on YouTube to being on TMZ to being on, you know, uh, Baller Alert, mm -hmm. um, Shade Room, mm -hmm. right? And there's a lot of people just aggregating content and information and repeating what they are reading. Just because you read something that someone published online, we all know how easy it is to publish something online, whether it's YouTube or your, the written word. You still have to do your due diligence as a journalist to go back and fact check. Right. Yeah, no, you need to call people we're, like we're nobody's we're doing we're that. Nobody like is, putting it out. They put journalist. it out because you know that the AdSense, they you know what I'm yeah. saying? That's what they I'm, check. They they trying to get that check. That's what, what they check. Yeah, what it's they, money. Oh, it's right, so, so let's let's just run back over this thing one more time. Um, I'm more complex right now. It says Diddy's Diddy case. Accuser's ex boyfriend claims she tried to pay him three million for support amid assault lawsuit. Oh hell! Okay, hold on. You don't even hold know on. if he's telling we the truth. We don't even know who this ex boyfriend yeah, is. Yeah, you don't even right. know if he's telling the truth. So again, who's the ex boyfriend? This okay, he's making let, a claim. Go. How did they break up? Now I need to know how the relationship is. <laughs> right. Impression. Who does he work for? Right. Where, where's uh, the text yeah. message? Where's the text message? Yeah, where's the text message? Yeah, make sure that was her number. <laughs> make, make sure that was her number. This is what I'm saying. Right. How do we know uh, right oh, now Google with voice how, how irresponsible right, right. people are Today being? It's crazy. We don't know that any of this stuff is true. Welcome to Marketing 101. And these companies, what, these what are they marketing? What platforms. are they selling? We've watched marketing schemes and marketing plans and roll out so long that now reality is is subjective. 
It's almost anything can be a scheme. Everybody looking for the breaking news story and not doing a fact checking mm-hmm. in the middle. That's of it. because That's the truth is. has become less important than the entertainment. Exactly. It's about the we living in a spectacle world, bro. Mm-hmm. Everything is about the spectacle. That's mm-hmm. it. The truth is, is the, the truth is way less important than the entertainment factor. The truth isn't sexy most times. The truth is nine times out of ten pretty boring. Yeah. No, not in all cases. That's why I said nine, nine all times cases. out of ten. If I told the truth about my Friday night <laughs> thing, woo, woo, boy, hey, good times, good times. But um, oh, yeah, it, it, it's sad because I, I just read through that um article. I didn't even see the name of this guy. See, so, where's the text so, message? So, and we were sitting in here trying to take. Credibility away from her. Oh, wait, That's wait, why wait, I said. I, I don't know. Let me just check another site. Check though. another site. <laughs> All right. Source it. Because she actually filed a lawsuit. Mm-hmm. So her attorneys have to go to court and put forth their Present, evidence. Right. You know what I'm saying? To prove what she's saying. So what so so and I'm not saying that that this person is lying or what I, I don't I don't know. They but it's just so easy for us to kind of go one way or the other. Just like, oh, wait a minute. Did y'all see what they said? Oh, the, the boyfriend put out text messages and said she was trying to bribe. That's what that's what all victims get accused of. So do you think that these 120 cases, you think all of them are legit? If I'm guessing just off, no. I don't think I don't all of them that. are legit. I believe that there are people that are trying to get in, trying to get more. But, but what about the cases that may be legit? You know, oh, it's gotta then, go through the courts, right? You know? What about the ones that are legit but are embellished? Like that happened, but mm-hmm. not like that. Mm-hmm. It wasn't that bad? How about stuff that happened, but you were cool with it until now? Mm-hmm. I mean, there was a woman that came forward and said she had a good time, <laughs> and they and they was down with it. Yeah, dude. Wow. Nine times out of ten, uh, nah, I won't say. Yeah, they're like indulgent. That. They're indulgent, bro. People, like, people, people be in on the heist and don't like they cut, like. You you was like cool. I said, you just now you're embarrassed because of the second hand right. and it and was it's fun so much and popular at that moment. And then now, now this is fun and popular with whatever <laughs> might have happened to you. Now that everybody else said it, right. because as a victim, it's very hard to speak out. To be the first person to speak out against something that is not easy. Mm-hmm. That is not easy. Mm-hmm. People that jump on you and oh you're a liar. She's lying. She's trying to extort us because mm-hmm. they told me that. That's okay. a whole other story. Right. But I was out, I, I and and I won my defamation claim because uh, they said that. Mm-hmm. Because they said I tried to extort them. Mm-hmm. They lost the case behind that. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming this guy does not want his name out there, but TMZ is claiming to 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 have the text okay. messages and okay. everything. And, and I tend to uh, believe the, them. I tend to believe them I, too. I mean they were the first to ran by a Jewish Jackson lawyer. Did. I think he would <laughs> I try, mean, try, try to play with color within the lines I for this. More times sure. than not, they're accurate. Yes. Verify so. the phone number. I need to know that was actually right, her not, number that was texting. Right, Verify that's the not number. Google. The, bo- the boyfriend said after receiving the text, he blocked her number and blocked on social media. He said that, but did he do that? But they didn't name. <laughs> Come on, bro. They didn't name the boy. He said it. They didn't name the boy. They didn't do that. Though. But they're not naming him. <laughs> so they said Diddy, 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 Diddy. she revealed that she was planning to sue Diddy because he's the one that has the money. This is a this is a quote. This is in quotes. Yeah, but that this is what taken, the boyfriend that be, said. That's hearsay. That's that what doesn't I'm even saying. stand up. And can be ball. taken out of context. Yeah, yeah it, that's it, hearsay. It could be that something that did shit. happen. And she with a broke it. nigga, and she's going after the guy that got the money. Or, he's you know he's saying? saying that she said that. Right. That's yes. He literally I he said, said she said. <laughs> literally. However, <laughs> he said hold on, hold on. However, TMZ has seen a November 2023 text okay. exchange between Talia and the man who was her boyfriend, and in it she reveals she's planning to sue Diddy, quotes in quotes because he's the one that has the money. So that's the text that they saw. Yes. Okay. Okay. It uh, still okay. doesn't still. Okay. What's the full sentence? He's the one that has the money. So I mean, may, I'm, may if, not be the full if sentence. you were violated, is that like the thought? I don't. Oh well, here's the thing. She said she was violated by two people. Right. So for her to make a claim to her boyfriend, right? 
I'm mm. going to sue him right. because he's he the one that the has money. the money. Right. So he probably I mean, look, didn't do it. That doesn't negate the fact that she was that, violated. That, that didn't means, happen. That's my whole that point. That means the legal strategy is like, out of well, con- let's go after him. Out of context. Because he's take, the one that has the money. You take right. it out of context if you just say, well, I'm suing him because he's the one who's got the money. Right. The whole sentence could have been, well, happening at this place. He was right there, and then this happened, and this happened. I'm suing him because I know I can get money out of him, and then this dude I'm going to try and put in jail. Like, who knows? Yeah. You, you see what but I'm saying? But look at right, how right. That, that, that story that he just read, right, and what we actually dissected as the text, look at how fast it traveled into what it has become on the blogs, mm-hmm. right? Oh, she was trying to bribe, all this other stuff. That's not what the story but, says. But, but let's be real. Like, uh, 100, 100 and how many cases? 20. 120 cases. But what does that have to do with her? From Houston. Mm-hmm. A Houston based lawyer. A Houston based lawyer. Yeah. 120 ca- cases of sexual assault from from the diddler himself. <laughs> Remember, they put out the hot they, they put out the hot hotline. Line, the right. hot line. It was probably hotline. people just calling the hotline. Just exactly. To trying to get a bag, desperate <laughs> right, people. Right. You know, people who haven't been diagnosed like this shit is ridiculous. With well, a hotline, it's kind of crazy. That last song Diddy made was whack. I'm calling the line. That, that, that hotline, hotline, hotline is kind of crazy. I might, I might be. I went to the party. I might be able to get some bread. Like, come on, this is crazy. Is, but how that, many of those are actual suits filed? I mean, we do know that there's what at least ten. Are there ten? I think yeah, there's over been 10, like ten, eleven. Right. Or like so there's the, the actual cases that are filed. You know, there's a, a significant number. Now I don't know about this 120. That sounds crazy with the whole thing with the hotline. I'm sure people were just calling with frivolous stuff. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. More likely than not. It's a, mo- it's a money grab for a lot of people. Right. <sighs> but what about for the people that it's not a money grab for? Then they make it bad for them. For them, it's fucked up. Yeah, yeah. They make it bad for them. And it and doesn't... It, and it actually doesn't work in favor of the actual victims if there are any. Right. Exactly. Because they sound just as frivolous as everybody mm-hmm. else. When you put two stories next to each other, which one do we, do we believe? It'll be hard for them to um, prove their case. Every, yeah, it's like, we it's know, like you're, you're camouflaging. Yeah, in plain sight. For all we know, what Tali is talking about actually happened to her, but maybe she can't prove it. Mm-hmm. How about that? How about it really happened, but I don't really know how to prove it? Hey, could you collab- collaborate this for me? Because it happened, but I can't prove it. Not a good move. Not and at all. Offer you three million? It's, especially, especially when, especially because. And even if we're going to have this kind of discussion, you now need to know how the relationship ended. What if he's mad at her? What if she, you know what I'm saying? Like, what if it ended bad? And he's right. like, but you know what? Let's, Fuck your let's just say, Let's just say it ended bad. Why would you send the text messages out? Say it again? Why would you offer someone $3 million Because he's to, the person who can make. Maybe so. you think it's all good. Maybe you think you can figure it out. But just, just You see how many maybes come into play? But where did the $3 million come from? She she believes that uh, you know if she goes through with this thing, that she would have got a large amount of money allegedly, and he would have got three million. But that wasn't in the text that you just read. Yes, it said that she she said, "What do you need? Three million? Okay. What if she got? What if she got the three million now? We don't know what her finance. And even that's a question. Yeah, like even that's a question. What do you need? Three million? She could have been being like yes. Theory of it all, right? Like. You she know, got what the, if somebody she got made the her three million we, know, we know she ain't got the three million. Come on. Yeah, she ain't got the three million. Right, but <laughs> you don't know what that woman been doing between point A and point B. Oh, oh gosh. I, I can have, I can speculate that she don't got the three million. I think I'll be accurate. Online. I think I'll be very accurate. Over the course of the last week, I have mm-hmm. I have read so much online. All right. So much just frivolous stuff, content, content around like who was there, who was, you know, what they did. Who was violated? That's why I'm sick of this it's just, shit. It's just too yeah, much. It's, too it's much. like, sick it's, it's a circus. Did you hear, hear about the nine-year-old? There's a that's nine-year-old bu- that's, now? That's bullshit. Uh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not believing but, that uh, shit Did you hear about yeah, it? Yeah, I heard about that. Okay. That's I, what I said. This so is apparently, Did you hear about the tunnels in his house? <laughs> like no, I let, no, 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 listen, no, 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 If you know, those tunnels look like wine cellars. Some rich people got wine cellars in their house. Right. You know, damn tunnel. Right. Right, they did look like wine cellars, but you know. They're tunnels now. They're tunnels now. Tunnels, tunnels. <laughs> I can tell you about a group of people in Brooklyn that really got tunnels. And hey, let's not <laughs> talk about well, that. We ain't got tunnels. Go not at all. <laughs> well, Jay-Z, not said, it. Jay-Z said they running tunnels up under you. Mm. Yeah. And then that Although we up. fucking should, mm. we're yeah. probably not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> 
Bro, this shit is sticky. Not the tunnels. Shit is talking about all this shit. (laughs) Almost, I I say the same thing every time one of these things come up. Yo, wait till the trial. See what happens. See what happens. See what the verdict is. See what the evidence is. It's all speculation. They got fucking documentaries. The day he was arrested is full scale documentaries up on like Hulu and shit. Netflix and all that. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. The the, the trials and tribulations of Diddy Combs. Are you serious? Y'all think that that, that 50 documentary is real? Was it's very it? real. Yeah. It is. It's very real. Yeah. It, it 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 is now. I don't think it was real when he. <laughs> I don't think he was real when he started talking about it. But there is a documentary right called now, The Downfall of Netflix, Diddy, and it's out. Produced oh, that's, by that's Fit, the TMZ. No, you're talking about the TMZ. Netflix. You're talking about the Netflix. Yeah, documentary. produced by Fifty. Right. right. So that one he started talking about way back when, right? Yeah. When when Diddy and the Cassie case first came out, it was confirmed a couple of weeks ago. Netflix confirmed that it was in production. Wow. Can Diddy, can Diddy get that taken off like a cease and desist if that's not true? That's not accurate. Can he get that taken off like Netflix, Tubi, and all that? Being that he's a public figure, probably. Yeah. I don't think he can get it taken because you can write a book or do a documentary. But I'm saying on though, anyone. you can don't don't the um actual artist or the person have to approve of that? No, no. not if it's like so they gonna put a whole documentary out on Math Hopper. You, you, Math think, R. Kelly, you think R. Kelly approved of um surviving? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's crazy. You think he signed off like, oh yeah, this is good. But, but this is what I'm saying is, hit. can't you send a cease and desist for that though? You a can cease and sue desist. them if there's defamatory stuff in it. And if hit. you don't approve of that, if you you like, yo, this is a whole lie, and they got this running on on national TV, like you can't I mean, you get can, that taken off. You can sue them. I don't think you can get it taken off, right? Like depends on the terms of the suit, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Don't like, that actually to, help the case you too? You have to that, file like, for an injunction or something to get them to stop the release. Right there, yeah. Yeah. But you have to go in front of a court and show why. But this is too newsworthy. They would be like, I don't that think should, that, that That shit is actually like damaging while they going it, back it, and forth it, to court too. It's yes. very damaging. But again, it, this is where we're at in society. Like the, the ones that we're talking about, you just best believe there's like countless others. Mm-hmm. There's documentaries... On Dr. Dre, there's documentaries on you, you name it, bro. And like, don't it's go just, YouTube because it's all over. Like, it's, it's, it's all over the place. Yeah, what you I don't be liking like, is like they be pre- they be trying to predict like, oh, Jay Z is next. How are you saying that? Like, you know what I mean? That's, that's just a big shit. Right, let's, let, let's get shit. into this Jaguar right shit. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm so special, I'm so special, I'm so special, so special, so special. I'm like Ichigo, master in a red suit. This my bank card form, I'm about to let loose. Better make your next move your best move. Straight out the gate, niggas gonna hate and try to test you. Watch who you with, who your man's, who you next to. If you take a hit with son assist like a nephew. You can never check us, homie, this a chess move. Wrote this on the little short bus, I'm so special. If man say get him, I'ma get him, ain't no talking when I pull up. Park up, hop out, run down with my hood up. Now what the fuck are you hating for? Can't DFG get money anymore? 